Hare Hare Krishna I wanted to talk with you about how Krishna wants to how Krishna wants us to work and also Bhagavad 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 Gita wants us to work also till we till we're dead on our deathbeds basically this because now I'm starting to realize there's more than one God in Hinduism because it's the same thing with Krishna he wants us to work till we till we die on our deathbeds and to do with disability he wants us to work in disability and all of what I've said on the previous videos about Hinduism it's the same applies to Bhagavad Gita it all, it all applies to what I've said on my previous videos my previous parts because it talks about because it talks about pure devotion to to the supreme Brahm and it talks about being fully joyful and you know with that like I said in the past how can we get that that evidence of being fully joyful how can we know that every day every night 24 7 every time we wake up we can be assured of being happy and joyful how can we be assured of that how can we guarantee that satisfaction that inward satisfaction inward satisf satisfaction in our bodies that there's something not that there's something missing how can we be sure that something is missing in our lives how can we be sure that nothing is missing in our lives how can we sit on how can we be sure when we sit on our own when we read this book the king of the king of the king of knowledge book how can we be assured of that and how can it uh, how can we sh be sure that it's not a temporary temporary satisfaction a temporary joy you know you know so how can we be sure of that and where is the evidence for that because Krishna is also a separate God and the same as Hinduism but it's in Hinduism and so is Bhagavad Gita same God or similar God but different because he talks about he is he talks about in this book he is equally di disposed to every living entity how can we be sure of that how can we be assured of that although it says it says it in here how can we be assured of sure of that it's enough to read a book but we've got to have the experience of it in our bodies in our own personal lives in our bodies you know in our life lifestyle situation we have to experience we, we have to have the evidence of that of us experiencing it and it goes on to say in that state he attains pure devotional service to me Bhagavad Gita how can we be assured of that you know Bhagavad Bhagavad Gita is telling us to work till our deathbed work till we till we pop you know there's so much you know you know we have to work towards God towards Bhagavad Gita you know we, we're doing all of that working towards Bhagavad Gita Bhagavad Gita working towards that basically you know if if you we can Whatever, whatever is in the spiritual is also in the physical because if we if we work to if we, if we have a job a single job one job with many tasks you know how can we you know sometimes it, the job can be stressful sometimes it's not but generally speaking a job can be stressful so so how can we be assured that that we can keep to that task of that job because sometimes we can lose our jobs because of poor performance or not enough funds coming in not enough money coming in so and we can lose, lose the job that poor, poor performance I might have mentioned that earlier so you know when it comes to when it comes to working you know 
you could say to me this is not like working but if if we're saying in this book in Hinduism we have to work our way towards God work our way towards having joy and having eternal eternity uh, you know there's in a job there's so many tasks tasks to do and you have to employ more than one person to do it and if there's two gods Krishna and Bhagavad Gita two separate gods but in one religion and we have to work our way to both of them you know it's 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 confusing one it's confusing two it's frustrating because and three you have to please both of them at the same time I would have thought it's confusing it's it's you know it's a, it's again added again extra added stress to even you know extra added stress when human beings don't really need this kind of bad news we already get enough bad news in the news and all the play other places in social when we socialize we get people talk about something negative and you know how how do you rise above that when someone talks negative all the time or even if even if they're po positive all the time some way somehow there's there's some sort of negativity going into that so yeah yeah that's you know it's it's you know sometimes we have to just sit down and just think to ourselves and just think you know is this is this god i'm serving this this bhagavad gita and krishna correct for me is it correct you know as you know you know if you if you got any problems with this just give give me a call give me a call in this in the description of this video and uh, we'll, we can talk, we can talk, definitely so, yeah this is all I have to say in this video so I will talk to you guys and ladies soon so bye for now and Hari Hari Krishna